So what I'm going to subscribe for Alien X here is I'm pretty sure he's gonna fall under about a fifth dimensional entity. Just a robot. Hey guys, guess what? You're doing another video on Ben 10 because you're desperate for views and subs? Um, no. Well, technically yes, but this video is my first Patreon request. By Dapper Boyo. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. If you pledge $10 or more to me per month, you too can be put in the Patreon review raffle. And yes, I did steal this idea from Rebel Taxi. It's basically a huge ripoff, but hey, at least I'm not taking money without giving anything else in return. As I'm sure most of you know, Kuro the Artist did a video about Alien X, and it blew up. Unfortunately for Kuro the Artist, he got a taste of fame, and he would never experience the joy of having a video blow up like that at- Oh my god! Well, I stand corrected. Now I want to make this clear, this video is focusing on Alien X, however I'm not disagreeing with Kuro the Artist or Seth the Programmer. Uh, the reason I say this is because it goes a little something like this in Versus Algorithms, so you have, you know, the normal 3D beings, which would basically be most of fiction, and then you have beings that are infinite 3D, can destroy infinite 3D matter, blah blah blah. And then you have beings that, you know, go beyond that, that can destroy infinite 3D and its space-time from existence, which would be more like the 4D range. Then you have beings that can destroy infinite infinities of 4D universes, and that are beyond the concept of time itself. In a versus algorithm, this would more than likely be fifth dimensional, right? I'm just adding to their argument to prove that Alien X is indeed fifth dimensional. Now, dimensional tiering is a bit controversial in the versus community. There are many different definitions for what higher dimensional even means. In my two dimensional tiering videos, I was going off of what science files definition of what higher dimensions mean. And it's based more off temporal dimensions than spatial dimensions. This is what a cube would look like in the fourth dimension. It also has its own name, a tesseract. However, by seeing this image you cannot claim that you experienced the fourth dimension, because it is represented in our three dimensional universe on a two-dimensional screen in your one-dimensional brain. In most movies and TV shows, the fourth dimension is described as time, which is not a spatial, but a temporal dimension. And in Interstellar, the fifth dimension is... Ugh, love. Some people will tell you that someone who is fifth dimensional is infinitely above someone who is fourth dimensional, and some people will tell you it's beyond infinitely above. And being higher dimensional doesn't make you that much stronger than someone who is lower dimensional. For example, Bill Cipher, even when he was two-dimensional, could easily defeat a three-dimensional human. And yes, before you guys tell me, I do know that in the novels, Bill Cipher is far more powerful. But I'm just here to prove that Alien X is fifth dimensional. Whatever you choose to do with this information is completely up to you. To prove that Alien X is fifth dimensional, I'm going to use the Contamalia. The Contamalia the creators of their universe, whose fifth dimensional forms cannot be perceived by their primitive eyes. Therefore, they see the Contamalia as whatever they hold closest in their hearts. So the Contamalia are described as fifth dimensional, but their fifth dimensional forms cannot be perceived by three dimensional beings, which heavily implies that they're fifth dimensional in a spatial sense. Throughout this video, you'll see the Contamalia in two forms. You'll see them as an edgy OC of clockwork, and you'll see them as a giant smoothie. Why a giant smoothie? Well, apparently it means more to Ben than his own grandfather. For the past six years, being guided by the man considered to be the best plumber in the galaxy, fighting alongside a man closer to him than his own father, the one who taught him about life, ethics, and how to be a loyal and compassionate leader, Ben sees a giant f***ing smoothie. Now, as you guys know, Alien X survived a universe-busting explosion without even flinching, and then he recreated the universe on top of that. But the second time Alien X was hit by a universe-busting explosion in the final episode of Ben 10 Omniverse, Alien X, along with all of Ben 10's other transformations, were destroyed by it. And possibly a few times over, the camera does pan away for quite a while. So why did Alien X survive a universe-busting explosion the first time, but not the second time? Some of you may think, well, it's probably just a writer's mistake. 
But the thing is, Alien X survived a universe-busting explosion in the first episode of Ben 10 Omniverse. I'm pretty sure the writers wouldn't forget about something like that. Well, it could be possible that the Big Bang wasn't a third-dimensional Big Bang, but a fifth-dimensional Big Bang. Yes, it created a three-dimensional universe, or possibly an infinite amount of 3D universes. But it happened in blank space, which could be considered the fifth dimension. Granted, this is a major stretch, but I do have some more evidence to support this. The Nylarg was put into a machine that had a shield around it that the Contamalia said couldn't be broken. But Ben 10 with some Celestial Sapient DNA was able to cut through it. Oh, by the way, the Nylarg is the thing that destroys and creates universes. Some of you may say that the Contamalia were actually saying that the shield was impenetrable by three-dimensional beings, not fifth-dimensional beings. But since I don't make it clear, it's really a heads-or-tails situation. But there is evidence to support they were only talking about three-dimensional beings. When Ben cut through it, they weren't shocked. All they said was, it was interesting. Impossible. Interesting. And while Ben 10 was stopping the Big Bang, Maltrude accused the Contumalia of interfering. What is happening? You are supposed to be observers. You are not supposed to inform yourselves in any events that transpires! What are you doing? We are observing. However, the Nylarg is a fifth dimensional invention. And in a fifth dimensional space, it would work like a fifth dimensional object, but in a third dimensional space, it would only work like a third dimensional object. And in Ben 10, higher dimensional objects are much more advanced than lower dimensional objects. For example, Earth is described as having level 2 technology. The Plumbers use level 6 technology, and the Omnitrix is the only level 20 piece of technology in the universe. However, a children's toy from the 26th dimension is even more advanced than the Omnitrix. Nalgians, they didn't really go into detail what they were, all they said was like they were aware of like at least 26 different dimensions. Um, that Ben wouldn't even be able to comprehend the world they're from. They, like, visit the lower tier dimensions for fun. They have a children's toy that's able to take out a universe. Now, I understand that my evidence for Alien X being fifth dimensional is pretty flimsy. But Curl the Artist did a video with Seth and Chuck, and they went through a few more examples of why Alien X might be fifth dimensional. I'll link the full video down below. Please go check it out. I understand this video wasn't perfect. Dimensional tiering is not my strong suit. This video was a Patreon request, but I already had this video planned to be made. Unfortunately, I lost some of the evidence I had for Alien X being fifth dimensional, and I don't remember what I did with it. Is there more evidence out there for Alien X being fifth dimensional? Or do you think he isn't? Tell me in the comments section down below. While I didn't outright prove Alien X is fifth dimensional, it was still fun to make this video. Also, I want to make this very clear, I'm not saying that the blank white void is the fifth dimension. I'm just saying you could consider it to be. But if you do consider the blank white void to be the fifth dimension, it would be a major stretch to do so. But before we end this video off, I just want to give a shout out to two of my $20 patrons. If you pledge $20 or more to me per month, you too can get a shout out. I do have three $20 patrons, but one of them doesn't have any social media accounts they want me to shout out at the moment. And another of my patrons, who was the one who requested this video, well, I, um, forgot to ask him what he would like me to shout out. But I promise I'll give him a shout out next week. I am so sorry about that. But at least I can give a shout out to this guy's YouTube channel. And I highly recommend you go check out his video on Fallout 76. A link to his YouTube channel will be down below. My eyes have seen the glory of the cleansing of YouTube. Debunking SJWs and feminazis too. We criticize reactionists in hopes they get the boot. Just the robot marches on.